Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my bi-weekly wax picks. So yeah, let's just jump right in and get started. Uh, no particular order and I really just kind of picked just whatever I felt like at the moment. Just random. We got some summer scents. We got some winter. We got some, it's just a mixture of stuff. So all right. First up from With Envy, we have just plain cotton candy, and it's this cute little ice cream shape. From Silkies, we have blueberry sugar. We have cereal marshmallow bar, which um, really smells like ugh, such a good, sweet, fruity pebble. Um, Rice Krispie Treat. Love that one. I have some from Sassy Wax Melts. These were just like the, the mystery kind of bundle that I got just to try out her um, wax. And this is Blueberry. We have Rice Krispie Treat. Fruit Loops. Zucchini Bread. And French baguette, really good bread scent. I have this little scent shot from Vintage Chic Scents. This is in Jingle Juice. I wanna melt this because the thing is cracked. I don't have a bag for it. So this is cranberry, cherry, peach punch with a hint of hibiscus. We'll see how that one performs. From Sil Silkies, we have snow ice cream, which is like a sweet, ooh sweets like creamy peppermint scent but very heavy peppermint um so i don't know if i'll be able to melt through that one from rose girls this is puppy love i got this in a d stash like last year um and i want to melt through it this is love spell green apple and cotton candy frosting from empire alchemy i have golden hour which is tropic suntan lotion mango slices, and pineapple chunks. From Simo, I have Sugar Spun Pear. Vintage Chic Scents, we have Beehive, which is rich zucchini butter cake filled with a decadent layer of lemon coconut cream. Her stuff doesn't perform that well for me um, at all. I don't really get much of a scent throw, so I stopped buying from her. I did de-stash a lot of the stuff I had from her. Um, this is You Drive Me Crazy, which is fresh cherry lemonade topped with a scoop of lime sherbet. I have Fall Yoga Pants by the Fireside, which is Cider Lane, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Marshmallow Fireside. We still have cold days here, a lot of cold days. It's been in like the 40s, low 50s. Um, low 30s it's like all over the place right now this is pink pink frosted animal cookies which is pink frosting sugar cookie dough frosted sugar cookies and this has no cherry note to it this is really strong in my house um i love this scent we have a lot from silkies here we have santa's tea and cakes this is supposed to be my Mar marshmallow fireside blend with tea and cakes but on cold sniff i really only smell the tea and cakes I have toasted coconut mocha, pe peony petals wedding cake, Bora Bora coconut cream. I have a fresh linen odor eliminator from K's scented melts. Um, from Birdie's Making Sense, we have pumpkin spice latte zucchini bread. The straight, the, oh gosh, the Strange Charm Wax Company in Vincent. This is a blend of pipe smoke, shaving cream, and London fog. Summertime s'mores. This is kind of like um, what is it? Salty sea air, like like beach nights, kind of salty sea air type scent. We have relax and breathe. Hang on a second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, we have one from 
the bathing garden. This is Midsummer Song. This is like two years old. It still smells amazing, um, but I unfortunately don't buy from her anymore because her wax doesn't perform in my home. That's just my opinion. Um, another one from Birdie's Making Sense. This is pumpkin spice latte, vanilla pound cake, smoked vanilla. This was from the uh, like body parts collection from Halloween. Ugh, so good. Yeah, this is a really good like pumpkin spice latte with a little bit of like a smokiness to it. Ugh, this is probably one of my favorites from that uh, sampler set. And it's just a little tongue. Those two were my last two. The teeth and the tongue were my last two from that sampler. Let's do some Goose Creek. This is Sparkling Woods. Very pretty kind of perfumey scent. We have Pineapple Cake Pop. Jingle Bells, which doesn't smell like Christmas to me. I know it's like a Christmas scent, but... Well, it comes around Christmas time, but it doesn't smell Christmassy to me. It kind of smells like perfume um, in like almost like body wash. It smells like a body wash that I had years ago from, I think it was from like Oil of Olay or something. I can't remember the, the name of it, but it smells very similar to that body wash. And that's why I bought multiples of it because I can't find that body wash anymore. Um, next one is Peppermint Mocha Milkshake. Again, I have peppermint. I have, you know, some fall blends. I have some Christmas. Well, not like Christmas, but, you know. Yeah, this is really good, like, peppermint mocha scent. It's all right. It's not my favorite peppermint mocha, but it's, it's all right. I have... Peach Cobbler Donut. I want to finish up this scoopable in uh, Beach Nights from L3. This is from 2019. It's really good. It smells amazing. Um, it's not Beach Nights type. It's like a salty sea air kind of scent. From Better Homes and Gardens, we have White Peach and Daisy. We have Bread of the Dead. Wonderland, Berry, Apple, and Peonies. This is Blue Sky. I didn't melt any of this in like my two, two videos ago of my picks. I didn't melt any of this. This is Barbershop. This was um, a, um, a custom I did. So it's Barbershop, Abercrombie Mail, uh, Vanilla Bean Noel. We have Stormy Autumn Night, which is just like a men's cologne fragrance. Pink Flamingo Flower. I love this. I'm not usually into floral, but this is really pretty. And then last are from Silky. So we have Fluffy Towels, Gain, and Swimming Pool. And all these were like, all these are customs of mine. Um, Angel Food Cake, Snowflakes, and Cashmere Velvet Sugar. This one is not a custom, but the rest are. This is Peppermint Swizzle Sticks Sugar Cookies Let Them Eat Cake. This is Snuggles Cotton Candy Saltwater Taffy. I wanted a really sweet laundry blend. And this is pretty good. The Snuggle is still really overpowering. But I'm definitely going to have to cut that in half and, you know melt a little bit and see how it does because it's really strong on cold. We have Palo Santo Herbal Lavender Smoked Vanilla. So good. I wanted something sweet and smoky but also like good for bedtime and I love Herbal Lavender. I don't really get much Herbal Lavender. It's mainly Smoked Vanilla and Palo Santo so We'll see how that does on warm. And then last, I, another one for bedtime. This is Herbal Lavender Whipped Cream Buttermint Vanilla Be Noel. I like buttermint more than I like, um, more than peppermint. 
buttermint to me is just like creamier and just sweeter. Peppermint is just too strong to my nose now. I'm very sensitive to scents. I feel like ever since having COVID, um, some things still smell off to me or kind of bad. And some things are just like, mm -mm, no. So it's definitely different, you know, with that and like having it completely change your whole sense. Um, I mean, it's not... It's not like a big change. Everything still smells the same like how it used to, but some things are still off. Like peppermint is just too strong to me now. And like it just smells a little weird. So this one is amazing. I would get this again. Again, buttermint doesn't bother my nose. So it's definitely what I'm going to go for when I order any type of blends with a mint in it. I'm just going to avoid peppermint. Um, so let me smell this one. Yeah, this one doesn't bother me because I don't really get the peppermint in here. It's mainly the let them eat cake and the sugar cookie, which is like um, a perfume. So I like that. But anyway, that's all for my bi-weekly wax picks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.